What is up guys and welcome back to another G35 video. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys what I'm gonna do to my G35. Now this is gonna be a fully custom exhaust with valves working, which is something that like modern cars tend to have where it opens a valve and makes it louder, it closes the valve and it makes it quieter. This is the valve that I picked up from eBay. I got it for like 80 something bucks and what it does is it closes this valve when you don't want it to be loud and it opens this one which is the stock piping and and when I want it to be loud, I redirects all the exhaust to come out through this one and this one ends up being closed. This one's going to be a muffler and resonator delete. So it'll be extremely loud and extremely quiet, which is, I guess, the best of both worlds, really. The wiring that we would need to get this done is literally just connecting it to the little motor it has that controls the valves and then connecting this to a cigarette lighter. And it comes with a little keychain that actually activates it. So you press it and it opens it and closes it. I am going to be going back to stock exhaust so that way I have the quietness and I also have the loudness. Right now I have a muffler delete so it does sound pretty loud and it does get a lot of drone. I'm trying to get the drone out by putting back the stock muffler and then I'm also have it you know resonator and muffler delete so it'll be louder and quieter at the same time so now we're gonna cut to me showing you like a blueprint on the screen right now that'll explain more of what I'm gonna do to it the yellow is all of the stock exhaust and then the red circle in the middle that one is the resonator so what we're gonna do is replace the resonator with the exhaust cutouts where the red line is going will be the piping that will be redirected so that way it skips and bypasses the muffler for a louder sound. So the piping is actually going to be welded onto the back of the exhaust tip. Uh, so that's like the right way of doing it. And it's just so I don't hear vibrations under the car and it'll just be a better overall experience. Now that we talked about the blueprint and how everything's going to be mapped out, I want to show you guys how it sounds right now. So here's a clip. <laughs> It does sound pretty loud and I do get a lot of drones, especially on the highway, which is really annoying. And when I'm just driving normally, sometimes it does get a little bit too loud. I don't want noise inside the cabin sometimes. So that's why I'm doing that where it's a stock and it's also gonna be louder uh, when I want it to be. We are gonna end up going to a muffler shop to get this done. They're gonna weld everything. They're gonna uh, do all the work. Once we get it done, we'll come back and we'll do the wiring here where we reroute it under the car. And from there, we'll be able to show the effects that the valve can do. One hour later. I'm trying to get everything. Looks sick. So we are back in the garage and... Oh, hi, Leo. Hello. I came to do everything. Thomas is big chilling. I installed it. Hey, man, I just work here. Get too close, man. <laughs> They were butt ugly. Leo, what is this? I gave it a quick wipe down. So Leo, tell him what you did to my car. I spray stuff on the wheel, I rub it. It looks slightly better. We got the cutouts installed. We have the exhaust all set up. I did just go ahead and install the wiring all along to the cutouts. So the wiring's done and I tested it just to see if it works. I have not turned on the car, so I don't have a reaction yet to it. It is all dialed in and now all we have to do is really turn it on. Before I turn it on, I'm gonna show you guys what I did um, in order to get the wiring done. So this is inside um, where the footwell is. There was a grommet that I was trying to get into and put a zip tie and just get the wires through, go all the way around. Turned out to be too difficult. And then Big Daddy Thomas was like, why not go through the shift boot? So we decided to route the wire through the shift boot tunnel and down all the way under. So let me show you guys under. So the shift boot is right there. So we routed the cable around right here so it goes straight all the way through and i use zip ties to kind of keep it in place so it doesn't hit the drive shaft and doesn't touch the exhaust so this is the one that came from the cutouts and this is the one that came down from the shift boot so i made them meet right here put a zip tie right here and another zip tie just to keep it in place i zip tied them to the parking brake and that's the piece that doesn't move so i don't have to worry about it like moving back and forth that being said next clip is going to be us using the cutouts
Dude, how did it sound? It sounded like a trombone <laughs> with a million decimals. <laughs> Detailers have to move the cars. This, this, I don't have the keys. I don't have the keys either. <laughs> I can't drive manual, okay? <laughs> I'm not, the, the, the thing's not on. Now we're driving with the valves closed and it's really quiet. Like there's no exhaust, only if you really get on it because we did delete the resonator so there's a little bit of noise. This is perfect for driving every day when I don't want to hear the exhaust or let's say there's a cop behind me for whatever reason. I don't want to be loud when there's a cop behind me or around me or any reason to get pulled over because of an exhaust. If we can reduce the amount of tickets, that's nice, that's cool. There's literally no noise coming in the cabin and it makes it for like a more enjoyable experience. Like in the highway, there's like zero drone, obviously because the exhaust is way quieter now. This is a small little pull. But like notice it's so quiet inside. Like that's like, that's exactly what I wanted. The valve is open, so let me downshift. That's way louder. Literally sounds, it sounds like a trumpet. Wait, let me. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> That's so loud. It's not like every other EQ. <laughs> oh my god. That's amazing. And for whatever reason, right now, there is to be a cop. Quiet. Dead quiet now because the valve's closed. This is like the cheapest route to go because if you wanted to do the same thing with valves, um, any aftermarket valve that's like an actual exhaust system is like a couple thousand dollars. So for literally, what, 200, 300 bucks at most, you can get the whole exhaust the, the exact same way I have it and you don't have to worry about anything. There's no drone with the resonator and muffler delete. Like the muffler delete got a lot of drone, but the resonator delete and muffler delete, there's no drone. I would almost recommend if you guys were gonna do just one thing to the car, um, I'd recommend just doing the resonator and muffler delete if you really just wanted it loud. Wow, that's so loud. Holy shit. 